I am a, a true fan of the Coast Guard. As we say, they punch uh, well above its weight class. And despite limited resources and the broadening scope of responsibility every day and the changing America that's changing before our eyes, the Coast Guard is uh, certainly dutiful in executing its diverse and challenging missions and demonstrating its dual functionality as both the military service and the law enforcement authority that is so important. The uh, Coast Guard is out there, of course, protecting our nation's coasts, ports, and waterways by such a dangerous position, intercepting illegal immigrants and disrupting drug trafficking before it reaches our coast. And as part of the DHS comprehensive security strategy, the Coast Guard's offensive capabilities establish a maritime border miles away from our shores. <clears throat> For example, as they continue to extend our nation's physical borders, the national security cutter has uh, their national security cutters have been the most effective national security assets in protecting the nation's coast and waterways from terrorism, human trafficking, drug smuggling, and other maritime threats. These ships also proved to be superior command and control platforms during the response to Hurricane Maria in San Juan and during the evacuation of the Joint Interagency Task Force South personnel in Key West for Hurricane Irma. As a result, in the FY19 Consolidated Appropriations Act, Congress identified the need to recapitalize the fleet of 12 high endurance cutters with the 12 national security cutters. But the funding for the 12th national security cutter has not been provided yet. Coast Guard Cutter James recently seized nine tons of cocaine and detained over 40 drug smugglers. Despite the success of the James and other NSCs and that the Coast Guard seizes more drugs than all other federal agencies combined, the Coast Guard is still only able to target a fraction of known smuggling in the Southcom theater. My home state of Mississippi has a long and storied shipbuilding tradition of which we are very proud of. And I'm particularly gratified that the Coast Guard recognizes our state's shipbuilding excellence and the strong work ethic that is well established on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. But Mississippians take pride in their contributions to the Department of Homeland Security missions and our national security interest. We're proud of the shipyards there in uh, constructing the new polar security cutter to aid in the uh, security in the Arctic theater and I look forward to ensuring that we provide the ships and other equipments that are there. 